Okay, so for our um, Latin today, I thought we would read from this um, more modern text. So the interesting thing about Latin, a lot of the, the classical texts that people learn to read in school are um, pretty difficult Latin, right? Like it, you can imagine trying to learn English, for instance, by reading Shakespeare, and it's hard. So what a lot of people did, not so much anymore, because most people don't bother to learn Latin anymore, but um, back in the early 1900s, when people, educated people, were still expected to learn Latin in school, they would publish these books that were written in Latin, but were kind of modernized and were about modern uh, themes to help these students learn how to read the, then the classical Latin texts that were a little bit, um, you know, more eloquent and uh, difficult for people to read, like Shakespeare, right? Um, so this is from one of those uh, books, and it's interesting because unlike most Latin texts with deal with the, um, which deal with the history of ancient Rome, this one is actually about early American history. So we'll look at our first, um, our first part of the story here. So this is about Christopher Columbus, Cristobal Colombo. So it says, Quodam in opido Italiae ulim nautus est puer. Okay. So, ulim means in that time, quodam, a certain, a certain man. So, it happened that at a certain time, a man, a nautus est puer, a boy, actually, not a man, but a boy, was born. In opido Italiae, in a town of Italy. So, quodam in opido Italiae ulim nautus est puer. So it happened at that time a boy was born in a town of Italy, qui Columbus appellavatur, who was named Columbus. Diu for a long time, diu in patris officina laboravit, laboravit, he worked, in the officina, the office patris of his father, for a long time. Said prope erat mare, but the sea was nearby. Puerque, there's that enclitic que again, meaning and, and the boy, saipe, often ad litus ibat. He often ibat went ad litus to the, to the shoreline, to the beach. Ut, so we're going to have a subjunctive construction here. Ut, we did, and now is, such that he might be able to see the ships. Quae, which, a portu, out of the port, ad terras, Exibant diversas, they um, exportu that left the port um, ad terras diversas to diverse exotic lands. In navibus, in the ships, erant homines were men multi, many men. Et columbus mare ipse transire saepe voluit. And Columbus, he often Voluit wanted, um, Ipse himself, transire mare, to travel across the sea. Tum altem pecuniam nullam habevat, but unfortunately he didn't have any money. Sed postia, so after a while, cum iam juvenis eset, while he was still young, usque ad Britanniam et Africam navigavit. But after um, a little while, but while he was still young, he was able to sail to Britanniam et Africam, to Britain, the United Kingdom, and Africa. Or Africa. <laughs> I'm starting to talk in Latin. Ilis temporibus. That's a very common way to see sentences started in Latin. Ilis temporibus. It means in those times, nautai, the sailors, they timebant mare atlanticum. They were afraid of the Atlantic Ocean. Cursumque propelitus tenebant, and cursumque, because of this, tenebant, they, literally, they held themselves, or they sailed their ships, propelitus, close to the shoreline, intergum autem secundam Africae, orum longe navigatum erat. Um, but, however, because following Secundum the Oram Africae along the shore of Africa, longe navigatum era. That was a long way to sail. Anricus Henry, the Rex Lusitaniae, the king of Lusitania, 
in venire viam volebat, he desired to discover a route or a way, qua naves circum Africam progressi ad Asiam pervenire possent, which ships would be able to pro, um, circum, would be able to progressi circum Africam, would be able to progress past um, or around Africa pervenire ad Asiam and be able to arrive in Asia. Next page. Whoops. So it says, quidam tum credebant teram esse rotundum. They also believed the teram esse rotundum. They believed the world to be round. Columbusque and Columbus etiam sperare quiprat se transire mare atlanticum posse. And Columbus also um, hoped that he would be able to begin transire mare atlanticum, to cross across the Atlantic Ocean, et ita ad asiam pervenire, and thus be able to, to land in Asia. Nemo, no one, enem intelegab, intelegebat, understood, teram tam magnum esse, no one understood the world to be as big as it was, nec columbus ipse suspicatus est imericam interponi. Nor did Columbus himself, suspicatus, was he suspicious, did he really understand, est Americam interpone. He didn't understand that America would be in the way. Okay, so let's reread the whole thing now. Quodam in opido Italiae oilum natus test puer, qui Columbus appellabetur, Dio in patres officina laboravit, sed prope erat mare, puerque saepe ad litus ibat, ut videret naves, quae e portu a terras exibat diversas. In navibus erant homines multi, et columbus mare ipse transire saepe voluit. Tum autem pecuniam nullum habebant. Sed postia cum iam juvenis esit, usque ad Britanniam et Africam navigavit. Ilis temporibus nautae timebant mare Atlanticum, cursumque propelitus tenebant. Interdum autem secundum Africae orum longe navigatum erat, quod honoricus rex Lusitaniae invenire viam volebat, quae naves circum Africam progressae ad Asiam pervenire possent. Quinuam tum credebant teram esse rotundam, Columbusque etiam sperare quiprat se transire mare Atlanticum posse, et ita ad Asiam pervenire. Nemo, enem intelega terum tam magnum esse, nec Columbus ipse suspicatus d'est Americam interponi. All right, now we'll read it in English. At that time there was a boy born in a city in Italy who was named Columbus. For a long time he worked in the office of his father, but the sea was nearby, and the boy often went to the seashore so that he could see the ships which were leaving from the port to various uh, places. Now, in the ships, there were lots of men, and Columbus, he often uh, wanted or thought about wanting to travel across the sea, but he really didn't have any money. After a while, however, but while he was still a young boy, he did go to Britain and Africa. Now, in those times, the sailors were afraid of the Atlantic Ocean, and because of this, they would sail close to the shore. But um, the shore of Africa was a long way to sail around, and because Henry, who was the king of Lusitania, desired to um, discover a different way, there was um, a want to sail around Africa and be able to come to Asia. Now, because these guys understood the, the Earth to be round, and Columbus also then hoped to uh, be able to find a possible way to sail across the Atlantic Ocean and come to Asia. But no one understood the world to be so big, and Columbus did not know that America was in between, meaning in between Europe and Asia. All right, that is the first part.